Hello the YouTubes, Ash back once again with another Loot Crate unboxing video. Now if you don't know what Loot Crate is, it is a monthly subscription box filled with geek and gamer gear delivered direct to your door. Or filled weenie bin if you're my postman. Uh, this month's theme is combat and they've said in all the blurb and everything that we're going to get something from Fallout 4, uh, Capcom and Blizzard I think, and there's going to be a couple of collectible figures in there. I've seen a bit of feedback on Twitter from people who've already got the box and they're not as excited as they were last month. But I think that might just be because last month was so good that it just it's never going to happen again. You're not going to get a repeat of that kind of level of awesome for a while anyway. But you know when you're having a shit day and then technology decides that it's going to add to your wars? Well, this is the second time I've tried to do this video. So I've already seen some of the stuff that's in the box. Let's see opened seal is broken but I didn't really have a good look around because the camera packed up on the first item so I haven't seen everything in here but the ridiculous item that is the first one I'm gonna bring out that one was enough so anyway let's just get on with it and uh, let's see the stupid thing that's on the top of the box here here it is it's a shredder from the Ninja Turtles mask. Now, I'm all for a mask, but when did Shredder ever wear sunglasses? And yes, I am going to leave this on for the rest of the video because it'll probably be the only use I ever get out of it. Next out of the box is Blizzard, uh, cute and deadly series one figures. I don't know what this is, um, so let's open it and find out. Oh, hang on, on the back. There's a few uh, different versions you could get here. There's a little crate exclusive on there. Is that what we've got in here? I wonder. Interesting. But well, these are all um, World of Warcraft-y Hearthstone characters, if you're into that kind of thing. Which I'm not really, but I did start playing Hearthstone not that long ago. And I got into it for a few days and then uh, put it down, never picked it up again. So it's a mystery mini. What on earth is this little fellow? I, I don't know, I don't know. It is Zeratul, apparently. Not a clue. Kind of cute in its own little weird, ugly way, I suppose. <sighs> Normally I try and save the best thing for last, but it's, it's the next on the box, so, you know. Fallout, Vault Boy, Bobblehead. I've already got the Charisma one, which I got with the Pip-Boy edition of Fallout 4. I don't know what this one is, it doesn't really say. But it's got, it's a Loot Crate exclusive, which is nice. Ah, there he is. He's just there with his little hands on his hips there. No, it doesn't actually say whether this is one uh, what stat boost this would give you in the game, but hey, he's still cool. It would be rude not to make his head wobble. Mm. That's awesome. I daren't take it into work because uh, my charisma one's on my desk at work and people are already trying to steal it. Next up is... It's a uh, Hunger Games Mockingjay Mockingjay pin. Metal one. Yeah, pretty cool. Not a big fan of the Hunger Games. It's another... It's a step above Twilight as far as I'm concerned, you know. It's just about watchable. But it's still teen angst. It's just one of those things, you know, you either like it or you don't. Uh, the Gift of Geek from Loot Crate. I'm not going to open this up in front of the camera in case it's a code that someone's going to nick. Oh no, that's crap. That really is crap. They're just gift tags with Loot Crate's name on. That's pretty weak, Loot Crate. Pretty weak. And here it ah, are. More cute and deadly. It's... Uh, oh, the magnets. It's like a sheet of uh, fridge magnets. Again... That's crap. It wouldn't be so bad if we didn't already have cute and deadly things already. They've doubled down on something that wasn't that good to begin with. In my opinion, that is. I mean, there's probably people out there who think these are amazing. Not me. Not me. And just to add insult to injury, there's only one item left in the box. And that is a uh, Street Fighter comic book. A Loot Crate exclusive. Again, not overly impressed and then there's just the, the usual magazine let's see if the mega crate was any better so this is what was in the mega crate this month uh, 
shite. I mean, even if I'd got that, I wouldn't have been impressed. Worth over two grand, but meh. I mean, it's just not my thing, to be honest. Street Fighter, I kind of grew out of when I was a kid, so. One of those things. And last, but probably least, is the Loot Crate pin that you get every month. And that one has a bit of a fallout -y vibe to it, I think. Yeah, kind of fallout -y. And the box, it looks just like a wasteland scene from Fallout. It's not often <laughs> that when I unbox one of these things, I'm, I come across as disappointed because, you know, it's potluck. It's a mystery box that somebody else has put together. You can't expect it to win you over every month, but that's the only thing that I liked in this box this month. And I think that's the first time I've ever had a subscription box where I've only liked one item. Or the first time in recent memory anyway. Especially from Loot Crate. I expect better from them. But hey, I think this just adds to the uh, crapness that is today. Never mind. Anyway, what did you think? Did you think any of the items in here were better than I said they were? I mean, this is bitching, obviously, because I am rocking this. But... What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, help a brother out. And as always, tell your friends, tell your family, but don't tell me, man. And I'll see you next time.